Welcome to part two of the Google Pixel series. This is the Google Pixel isn't. If you want to know all the positives about the Google Pixel, hit the link up above and check out that video. But this one is all about bringing this phone to reality, calling out where the negatives are and why this phone might not be for you. Let me get this one out of the way. The phone looks much better in person than it does in video, but this phone is by no means going to win a phone beauty contest. It is not a gorgeous piece of hardware. It's functional and it works well. It's kind of like Google themselves, but if you want a beautiful looking phone, this one is definitely not for you. This one is also not for you if you need any sort of waterproofing. It's IP53, which is like bare minimum uh, of dust and water resistance. So if you want to take your phone out in the rain or maybe you feel the need to dunk into a fish tank for some reason, this is definitely not going to be the phone for you. Also not for you if you want wireless charging because that ain't here on either of the Google Pixel phones. And also not here, expandable storage. Not here either, movable battery. Not here either, and some sort of modularity. Also, not here on these phones. You get what I'm saying. You might be also a little bit pissed at the Pixel phones if maybe you're a Nexus user. Maybe you just bought a 6P or a 5X a few months ago, and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna buy these phones because Google always pushes out updates to these phones first. You are shit out of luck because you're not getting 7.1 for many, many months, unfortunately. You're not gonna get Google Assistant for many more months officially either, which is also kind of a bummer. You are totally left out to dry. If you need a medium amount of storage and 32 is too little for you and 128 is too much for you, you're also out of luck. Also, if you don't have a lot of money to spend on a phone, then this is not for you. 128 gig pixel XL is gonna set you back almost $1,000 US. That is crazy pricing for a phone. Crazy pricing, pricing that Apple has barely been able to get away with, and this is a very new foray for Google. So it's expensive, it's got limitations as far as battery, wireless charging, water resistance. These are things that a lot of competition have now. There's a lot of negatives about this phone. It's got Gorilla Glass 4 covering the screen, but not Gorilla Glass 5, things you'd expect from a higher end phone. And also as you decide, maybe you still want to ignore the advice I'm giving this video and pick one up, and you might be like, hey, very blue looks nice, fingerprint magnet. Silver looks nice too, kind of boring. The black one I think is probably the best color out there just if you're deciding uh, to buy one. So a lot of negatives surrounding the Pixel phone, but there are definitely positives too about it. You get the Google Assistant, it's daydream ready, the screens do look really nice, and the camera is supposedly pretty baller. If you want to hear about all of those things, the link up above and check out the Google Pixel is for all them positives. But if you're on the negative side of things, let me know. Give the video a thumbs up. You always appreciate it. Until next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo.